Hi everybody, it's Brandon Neal, founder of Freedom Wealth here again. Today I want to talk to you guys about how much it costs to actually be a dog parent. I think a lot of us grew up with dogs in the house as kids and they played an instrumental role in our lives as we grew and kind of became part of the family, but I don't think a lot of us ever really asked how much does it really cost to be the owner of a dog? And it's something I never even really considered until my sister started talking about wanting to get a dog. She, so she's a senior at the University of Kentucky this year, and she's moving into a house instead of living in a dorm. So she now thinks that uh, a dog is the right idea. But what I don't think she ever considered was what really goes into owning that dog. So it got me thinking and I did a little bit of research and now I know how much it costs to own a dog. So in the first day of owning your dog, there's a couple different costs that come with it. Um, if you go the hero's route, I'll say, and save a dog from a humane society, it's gonna cost you um, somewhere between probably 50 and $200 just to adopt the dog. And then to go with that, you're going to need a leash and collar to take the dog with you. A lot of um, humane societies and animal shelters won't allow you to take the dog if you don't have one of those as well. And that'll cost you probably about $20. As well, you're going to need a food bin to store the dog's food in. You, those start at about $15 a piece. Um, you should probably get a pooper scooper because you don't want to be stepping in poop every time you go outside. Another uh, consequence of having a dog. And finally, to start the day off, your, your first day of dog ownership, you need to, in many cities, pay a licensing fee. And in, here in Jacksonville, that's going to cost you $20. Um, so all in all, your first day of being a pet parent is probably going to cost you somewhere between $130 and $250. Um, and if that sounds like a big expense to you, really think hard about getting it before you do because the expenses don't stop there. After you get your dog, there's going to be annual fees associated with it. Um, health is unpredictable for humans and the same can be said for dogs so you never really know when some catastrophic catastrophic injury may happen to your pet so you need to be able to afford vet bills and in my research I found that on average you can expect to spend somewhere between five hundred and a thousand dollars per year just at the vet for your pet so now we're starting to get in some real cost and it, it's things you have to consider. Um, and that doesn't take into account how much the food for your dog is going to be. Um, just food, not treats or anything like that, but that's going to cost you somewhere between two and four hundred dollars a year just to get a mid-grade dog food. So now we're looking at somewhere between seven hundred and $1,400 a year just to give your pet the necessities. So that's no chump change, especially when you're at the age that we are, being fresh out of college or actually maybe even still in college. That, that's a good sum of money. And another thing that you need to consider is do you travel a lot? If you travel a lot, when you have a pet, Mean, namely a dog, you're probably gonna have to put it in a boarding. And the national average for boarding is $50 a night. Now, say you go on a week's vacation, you're gonna spend $350 at least on just boarding your dog. That is a plane ticket to a lot of places and, and back. So it's something that you need to consider. All in all, Owning a dog is an extremely rewarding experience and they're some of the best creatures on this earth and they'll love you till the end. But you need to reciprocate that love.
by ensuring that you have the financial means to actually take care of the dog before you purchase it. So now we all have at least a better understanding of how much it costs to own a dog. So use this information before you do anything rash and really care for that animal.